a very warm welcome to you indeed this is the international service of awr adventist world radio in english from pune in our program today the music comes from dimas and the call a story for children on an explorer named james cook our thought for today is taken from god's word the topic is why jesus is coming again this is maureen your host I'm Sharad and you're listening to Adventist World Radio The Voice of Hope. Let's begin our program with a song by Demas entitled All Around the World. Picked up the morning paper, the headlines made it clear. The world is changing for a song. I knew this day was coming, never thought it was so near. Looks like the writing's on the wall I believe this world is trying to warn us Get ready, he's coming like he said listening to Adventist World Radio the voice of hope for all here's a health tip for you walk for health 
there is nothing better than walking walking a mile every day or taking reasonable exercise three times a week promises to reduce the risk of heart disease as well as strengthens bones and keeps them strong buy a blood pressure instrument to monitor your bp before and after the walk god bless you as you take care of yourselves Join us as Suniti tells a story on an explorer named James Cook. How he used the difficulties, trials, problems of life as stepping stones to victory. Dear listeners, today we are going to learn something important from the life of a person called James Cook. Lieutenant James Cook opened a small black box containing his instructions from the British Admiralty. and read them in silence hum rather tall order i'd say he said at last you are to take three astronomers from the royal society to tahiti in order to view the passage of venus between the earth and the sun which is to take place june 3 1769 while there You are to make friends of the natives and draw maps and descriptions of the islands. That part should be easy, commented Cook when he recently surveyed the St. Lawrence and mapped Newfoundland. After the scientists are finished in Tahiti, you are to open set of sealed instructions in the black box. All the time you are gone You are to look after your crew's health and keep your ship safe. That's going to be the hard part. Cook shook his head. Besides 11 passengers, he had been given a crew of 83, twice the number needed to sail a ship the size of the Endeavour. In those days, it was expected that more than half the crew would die. of scurvy or other perils of the voyage there will be strict health rules on this ship cook told the assembled crew the ship must be kept spotlessly clean and well aired everyone is to drink lots of water you are to eat fresh fruits or vegetables every day you will be issued daily doses of lemon juice to prevent scurvy We have a goat on board to supply us with fresh milk daily. As a result of Cook's health rules, 56 of the 95 returned home safely. Their three-year journey took them around the world. They explored Tahiti, New Zealand and Australia. Compare that with Magellan's voyage. He started with five ships and... and 277 men only one ship with 18 men returned to spain the ratio of survival was 6 men out of 100 on cook's voyage 60 out of 100 survived 10 times as high a ratio so dear listeners god wants us all to be healthy and happy that's why he gives us health rules When we break those rules we will surely suffer. Can you name some of God's health rules? Thank you Suniti for being with us on AWR. To learn more on God's word, you're welcome to write to us. Here's our mailing address. Adventist World Radio, Post Box number 17, Pune 411001, Maharashtra, India. You can also email us on Adventist Media Center at gmail dot com. Time to hear a song, and this is by the call entitled "Christ Command." Word. 
You are listening to Adventist World Radio, the voice of hope from Pune, India. Here's a health tip for you on skin. Take care of your skin. Always wear sunscreen lotion during summers. It is advisable to use winter care creams to overcome the harsh and cold winds. The best cure is to smile through and your skin will shine with an extra dash. It's no big secret. Time to hear God's word. Why is Jesus coming again? Presented by Sharat. Dear listener, I'm glad to share God's word with you today. This same Jesus, how and why will Christ return? Well, in the book of John chapter 14 verse 3, we are told, If I go and prepare a place for you, this is Jesus saying, If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Dear listener, this matter of the second coming of Jesus is viewed from various standpoints today. But there is to be a second coming is plainly declared in the Holy Scriptures. Here in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 28, Unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. When the Savior does appear again, it will be in fulfillment of a promise he made when on earth during his first advent. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I could have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. John 14 verses 2 and 3 Dear listener, believe in the triumphant return of Christ is affirmed by both Old and New Testament writers, among those of ancient times, 
Job declared, I know that my Savior liveth, and he that shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself, and mine eyes shall behold, and not another. Job chapter 19 verses 25 to 27 Dear listener, this side of the cross, Paul wrote, For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Saviour. The Lord Jesus Christ, Philippians chapter 3 verse 20. Everyone who claims to be a Christian should have a similar hope. Since all partake of Lord's Supper in one form or the other, regarding this sacrament, we read in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 26. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death. Till he come. Paul here states that as we observe this sacred rite, we do show the Lord's death till he come. Then we must believe in his return, or else such observance would be misrepresenting the sacrament given by Jesus Christ himself. But still, we question how will he come? Listen to the angels declare, Ye men of Galilee, why stand he gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come, like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Acts chapter 1 verse 11 This verse of scripture points out three characteristics of his return. First, it will be a literal body return. For he shall so come in like manner as he have seen him go. The disciples had put shortly before being conversing with a real being, one who after his resurrection had said, Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself, handle me and see. For the Spirit hath not flesh and bones, as he see me have. Luke chapter 24 verse 39 his second coming then cannot be described as coming into the uh, heart, which is an experience we know as conversation. Second feature of his return is that it will be personal. The same Jesus, as Job declared, whom mine eyes shall behold and not another. The third characteristic is that his return will be visible and not secret. Going back to the verse 9 of Acts 1, we read, And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. They beheld, the angel stated, that he would return as they had seen him taken away. In the revelation of Jesus Christ given in John the apostle recorded, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. The little wonder that this spectacle of the ages draws the attention of all mankind. For as lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Matthew chapter 24 verse 27. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Matthew chapter 25 verse 31 Viewing this event in vision, John described it, the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man hid themselves in the Dens and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and the rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb, for the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? Revelation chapter 6, verses 15 to 17. 
This is almost an echo of Christ's words recorded in Matthew chapter 24 verse 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. A consideration of these verses leaves no doubt but that his second coming will be visible to the wicked as well as to the righteous, perhaps foreseeing that some might mistake the glorious coming witnessed by the wicked as an event occurring after the righteous have been gathered. Jesus continued, And he shall send his angels with a great sound of trumpet, and they shall all gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to another. Matthew chapter 24 verse 31 Dear listener, we have the words from the very lips of the Son of God that his glorious return be held by all on the earth as, as its major purpose and gathering of the righteous, not before or not after, but at his second coming will the angels gather together the elect. Our present existence is often marred by the sorrow and death. All have seen it, some have experienced it, close at hand in the family, and to these especially should the knowledge of the return of Jesus bring consolation. For this Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a loud shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the triumph of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 and 18. Dear listener, the thought of the second advent brought joy to Paul, for he was looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Titus chapter 2 verses 13 Dear listener, if we really love Him, we will look for His return with expectation, and when the heavens depart as a scroll revealing the once lowly, Jesus of Nazareth as King of kings and Lord of lords, we shall confess, Lo, this is our God. Isaiah chapter 25 verse 9. May God bless you as you keep listening to Adventist World Radio and accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and look for His second coming with great expectation of the eternal life that He will give us through faith in Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Our loving Father, which art in heaven, we thank Thee for promise of Your return. We thank Thee for Christ who came down and died for our sins rose to conquer death and give us eternal life. We want to accept the eternal life through faith in Jesus Christ. Strengthen us. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Does the Lord want to save me? Dear friends, turn to your Bible in the book of 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 9 where it says the Lord isn't really being slow about his promise to return as some people think no he is being patient for your sake he does not want anyone to perish so he is giving more time for everyone to repent yes God has both the power and the desire to save all who call upon his name Salvation not only gives us hope for eternity, but also hope for today. We have been given a new life and new power for living and eternal life that Jesus provides at His coming. Yeah.
with this, we have almost come to the end of our broadcast. To learn more on Jesus coming and his plan of salvation, you are welcome to write to us on Adventist World Radio, Post Box Number 17, Pune 411001, Maharashtra, India. You could also email us on Adventist Media Center at gmail.com. You may also follow us on our website awr.org slash English program. This is Sharad, your host. And I'm Maureen, signing out from AWR. Do join us again along with your family and friends. Until then, we wish you good health and a happy home. Goodbye and God bless you.